So how did I end up in the food and beverage industry? Well, one of my best buds had a job in a restaurant and asked me if I wanted to work. And I said, absolutely. I've never not had a job in a restaurant from that day forward. Seymour's is a restaurant that I founded in June of 2015. When I founded the company, there was a group of people around me that, that had the exact same alignment and goals. We wanted to bring something to the table that was a little uh, different than what a typical seafood restaurant uh, was in New York City. I grew up here in New York City, and on Sundays as a kid, I would get in a bus Sunday morning and dip out to Freeport or Captree, Long Island, hop on a party boat with other kids in my sports team, and we would go fishing every Sunday for years. We would pull up bluefish, blackfish, black sea bass, fluke, flounder, monkfish, skate, sea robin, blowfish, ling cod. I never saw them on menus in New York, and I was curious, and I wondered why. Most people in the industry think that I'm crazy because I don't sell bluefin tuna or because I don't sell farm Atlantic salmon. They think that I'm actually nuts. It's been an honor working with New York chefs that are very conscious about the choices they make and they want to make an impact. All the fish that we serve at Seymour's is local, 100% sustainable, and wild caught. And I wear that on my sleeve because I'm proud of it. We have to make sure that we're, we're choosing responsibly and not just the same fish over and over and over from the same place because it'll be overfished and then it'll be gone. The most powerful things we can do is change people's perception of what a local fish is, what the accessibility is for that fish, and how good it is for them. More fish, more local fish are making their way to New York City. Institutions like Seymour's is, you know, really enabling that to happen. My name is Jason Miller, and I'm a local Montauk and New York State fishmonger. What I do is simple. I basically, as a fishmonger, I buy products from my friends who are commercial fishermen, legal, traceable commercial fishermen, and then really just convey those products to other friends of mine who are in the city who have an interest in local fish and sustainable fish like Seymour's, uh, who's done a great job in that arena. So what I do is actually not that complicated. We're introducing local, sustainable, wild species to the market and really trying to disrupt the tuna, salmon, halibut, cod, scallop, shrimp epidemic we have here on the planet. I really want to make a dent in that and I really want to say, hey, there's room for other species. I'm Captain Robert Aronson of the Charter Boat O Brother. Americans are tuned in to eating imported and farm-raised fish and it, it's, it's not healthy and you don't know where it's coming from or how it's raised. So wild American caught fresh seafood is, is the way to go. Well, you gotta figure, like, let's say, you know, like a long line boat, like a tuna swordfish boat, you know, they're out for a 10 day trip. So the first fish on that boat comes in on day two, let's say, they come after 10 days, they get in. Now it goes to market, it's sitting in market for a week. So now that fish is two weeks old before you even put a fork in it. How do you get a fresh fish? from Italy that's, you know, three weeks old. The only way to do that is freeze it, ship it. To me, that's not fresh. That's something that's different than fresh. And that's the only way to, to get a high quality product. You have, you have to take good care of it and handle it well. The one thing that people can really do to hop on this movement is to just care. And they just want to go and, and order something that tastes good. They want to order what's familiar, what, they, what they've been eating for their entire lives. We want people to care enough to ask questions. Call it sustainable. Call it local, wild, or call it common sense.